Now to the fight against fentanyl and the rising number of overdose deaths in North Texas. We have new details in the death of a Wiley High School student and the expanding effort to shut down those who supply the deadly drug. Maria Guerrero has the story. Regardless of the tragic choices federal authorities say led up to the death of Wiley East High School junior Chance Stovall, his father says it's a lesson for everyone. If it takes losing my son to help another family, right now that's what we have to do because I can't bring him back. Connor Miller allegedly confessed that he and his friend Stovall had repeatedly sought out a Dallas drug dealer for fentanyl pills. Miller stated that Stovall knew that they were purchasing fentanyl and told investigators he told Stovall fentanyl was dangerous. He said they each snorted two crushed up pills the night Stovall died in January. This one of many tragedies across DFW recently involving the highly addictive and deadly synthetic opioid. The DEA says is sold as is or disguised as other drugs. Criminal organizations have tried to uh, mimic these drugs to look like legitimate pharmaceutical drugs. However, now more and more we are seeing simply those who are suffering from a substance abuse disorder asking for fentanyl pills. Last week, police in Grapevine arrested a woman after her 47-year-old boyfriend died of fentanyl poisoning in November. Parker County just announcing the arrest of this Frisco man and the January death of a 36-year-old man. Again, thank you all for being here. As promised, and during a press conference Tuesday, Tuesday Sheriff Jim Skinner got second. word of an arrest. Gregory Noah Honesty now faces murder in the November death of a Blue Ridge woman, thanks to a new state law. And if we identify the individual that's slinging that fentanyl that resulted in the death of an individual here in Collin County, we're going to pursue you and charge you with murder. These three now murder suspects in a crisis authorities hope sends shockwaves and starts serious conversations at home. Maria Guerrero, NBC5.